Hey everyone, for those of you who are looking to connect Blackout to your Aurora or Stardust, just follow these simple steps. You're gonna connect up first to your receiver, which could be a Moonlight. I'm going to make sure that it is in receive mode and then I'm going to unlink this. This is now ready to be paired and I'm going to put this on my P3 color. The P3 is in address one and it's in mode four and the intensity is on address one. So it will be easy if we just flash channel one to determine if we have connection once we are hooked up to our Aurora. I will then go into my Aurora, connect up to this device. From here, I'm going to make sure that it is in transmitter mode. And I set my output power a little bit lower because I want better Wi-Fi performance. And from my experience with the Rat Pack AKS, I imagine it's similar in all of these devices. The more CRMX power, the less Wi-Fi range that you have. So if you kind of even them out, you can get a little bit more Wi-Fi range if you don't need a ton of transmission power. I am then going to go into my Wi-Fi settings and make sure that this is set to access point. I set my SSID, which is the network name that I'm going to connect to from my iPad. Uh, my IP, I've set to 192.168.0.201, which is a gateway, right? It's my first gateway. And if you watch my best practices video, this is how I label my gateways. And then my net mask is 255, 255, 255, zero. I put the DHCP server on. This means that when we connect up to this access point, it is going to hand out IPs correctly to all of the devices that connect to it. I don't need to manually do this. And then the protocol type. Right now I am running iOS 16, but I'm running Blackout version one. And in Blackout version one, only Artnet works right now due to a change in iOS. So if you set this to Artnet, you're gonna be good to go. If you're running the beta blackout version two, you can set this to SACN. In Artnet, I'm gonna make sure that these are all zeros resulting in a universe one as zero, okay? That's very important. So we're gonna go ahead and save these Wi-Fi settings. And the last thing that we need to do is connect our transmitter to this Aurora. So I'm gonna go ahead and press link on the transmitter and you can see that this is flashing. And once this is solid, that it is going to mean it is connected. There you go. So it is now paired through CRMX to our Aurora. So now everything is set up on the Aurora and now in the iPad, we're gonna go to Wi-Fi and connect up to our Aurora Wi-Fi network. Once we're there, we can go ahead and go to blackout, make sure that our link status is in ArtNet and our offset is set to zero. You can use directed broadcast, you can use any of these, but directed broadcast will work fine. Then you can take channel one, which I told you is intensity right here. And now I can show you that I have control of this light. That is a very simple way to connect blackout to your Aurora via Wi-Fi.